Did you know India was the first country in the world to beat the coronavirus in Jan 2021? Prime Minister Narendra Damodar Das Modi blatantly lying. My name is Kunal Kamra. I'm a stand-up comedian from India. The government has no f***ing f***ing answers, nothing new. And this is where even I stop laughing. India is experiencing the world's worst coronavirus outbreak. Crisis is unfolding on the ground at such a rapid speed. 360,000 new infections in just the last 24 hours. COVID-19 grasp the gravity of the desperation across India right now. At our peak in May, we had 400,000 cases per day and 4,000 deaths per day. And experts say these figures are a gross underestimate. Even now, as the rest of the world reopens, we are still suffering. My people are needlessly dying. Our government has blood on its hands. No world leader can compete with Modi. He runs India on a cocktail of bizarre lies and high-octane hypocrisy. And boy, he can act. This virus has made us a lot of our So when Modi declared Covid is over in January, there was a small problem. Covid forgot to follow his instructions. Then in February 2021, scientists began warning him about the new variants and the rising cases. And of course, Modi ignored. In March, not only did the Modi government refuse to cancel the Kumbh Mela festival, but they actually promoted it. Gathering of millions and millions. Most of these Hindus went to wash away their past sins. But they should have stayed at home and prayed for a better future. In April, Modi gleefully attended super spreader election rallies in West Bengal. The subtext is clear. Your vote matters, but your life doesn't. Denialism is everywhere, in particular at the top. Listen to our health minister, the man who Modi keeps at the helm of his response. In such situations, the world is the lowest fatality rate in the world. In the meanwhile, Modi's party continued to follow his commandment that Covid is over. Covid is not in the day of the day. We have to revive the economy. If we wear a mask, we will wear a mask. Beauty parlor is all not say. Crematoriums were overflowing. Hundreds of bodies washed up in the Ganga River. These are suspected COVID deaths. Dead bodies found in the river of people who couldn't afford to get a dignified spot in a crematorium. Now to top it all, Modi botched up a vaccine rollout. Which is ironic, because guess who produces 60% of the world's vaccine? India is playing the role of the pharmacy to the world when it comes to vaccine production for COVID-19. We produce more than 60 million doses for other countries, but we didn't make enough vaccine for ourselves. So what's our government doing about this tragedy? Modi's Ministry of Science and Technology commissioned research into how yoga and breathing exercises can help fight COVID. The government dropped flowers from helicopters on doctors as a tribute, as a mark of respect. But if you die as a doctor treating a COVID patient, we've cancelled your life insurance. That's some sneaky pickpocketing. We live in an out-and-out -out lie, but our government is a master of one domain, attacking its critics. Recently, at least two dozen people were arrested for putting up posters that criticised the government's vaccine policy. 
The government even asked Twitter to block some of these tweets which were critical towards this covid policies. The police is filing FIRs on doctors who posted social media pleas for oxygen. Listen, I am the privileged 1%. My parents and me got covid and my dad was fortunate enough to get an ICU bed for 14 days. Hundreds of thousands of Indians aren't as lucky. Ordinary people and our frontline workers literally keeping the rest of us alive. If we survive this pandemic, it's because of them. Even I as a comedian am struggling to satirize this absurdity. It's a state orchestrated covid massacre and I am outraged and heartbroken. And that's all I got to say. And you know what? You elect a joker, we show resilience, expect a fucking circus and emerge a land of solutions.